Leroy Neiman has painted hundreds of different people and countless scenes, from celebrities to city saloons to sports events. But on this day, he would take his career one step further and find out what it was like to stand in the huddle with the quarterback when the game of life is on the line. Uh, why don't we have Leroy come down so he can see this? This is really dramatic. This is really dramatic. This is so dramatic. That's not real. It's, um... Leroy, I want you to see this now. Come here. Come here. Let me take your portrait. And here is a huge clot, you see, inside the heart. You see this? Look at this. See? You're taking that right out. We're taking that right out. Isn't that dramatic? Can you all see that? You don't see this very often. It's, really? No, it's not that common. It's the big clot, you see, inside the heart. You see that? Oh. Huge man. clot inside the heart. Yeah. Now here, all this is gone. See, all this is scar tissue here. This, all this heart is destroyed. This portion all around here. We'll take out some more of this. In a minute, yeah, in a minute. Okay. This is outside suckers, of course, for this right here. You see that, Leroy? Isn't that dramatic? Yeah. Huh? When Neiman stood at the head of the operating table and sketched the procedure, he spoke of the intensity of the moment. I think the most remarkable experience has been the silence of it. It's always quiet. You can't uh, ever take it for granted. You can't get jaded. There's no way you can get jaded about that, Don. And that's why these people can do this day after day, because there's no way that you can stop concentrating. This is a, a total teamwork control thing, certainly. This is really the ultimate. I have never been more impressed. I've always wanted my operations and my operating team and my operating theater to be like a great artist's work. And I've jokingly many times in the past years said to my people in the operating room that when we finish this operation, it ought to look like a very great painting by a very great master if it hasn't been a work of art in the operating theater, then somehow we have failed. I've always loved Leroy Neiman's work because I thought that, that Neiman was expressing something that, that other artists didn't capture. He has a, a motion and an emotion in his, in his work that somehow I have felt for a long time paralleled what we were trying to do in that operating theater. You finished your drawing? Let me see it. How did you get the answer? There you got it. Yeah, that's good, huh? Look at that. Looks just like that, too. It's not a bad heart, huh? is it? Yeah, it looks pretty good now, doesn't it? That'll start your huh? drawing. Yeah. That's it's perfect. You have exact red. Perfect. Yeah, okay. Like Thank you all. Throughout this operation, Neiman, while drawing the procedure, displayed the same kind of disciplined concentration that Dietrich had in performing the surgery. When it was over and both men returned to the dome above the operating theater, Neiman's perspective of his work had become clearly defined. I really got this painting in shape now. Yeah. You getting happy with it? It's getting, it's getting where it's going to be, you know. You can see what I got here now. Get my view looking down into the painting. And then I make everything come up, like in perspective. This is a little higher than it is. But everything has to go high so the thing goes up. Because, I mean, I want to get the feeling that there's maximum space within this restriction I've got. It would be just, it's almost the same principle as it would be doing a painting of Wall Street or something. I'm getting up in the Empire State Building and looking down on the high rises. But here you really have such a confined... Uh, but it's all there, I mean... Uh, we're dealing with professionals. You brought a professional team here. Leroy Neiman is a professional. You put the three professional teams together, all of which have that same kind of basic attitude about 
perfection and excellence, you end up with an excellent perfection kind of product that we think we're going to have. I'm not surprised at all. I would have predicted, I would have predicted that we would put these three teams together and with a minimum amount of difficulty, a minimum amount of concern even, we would be able to do what we have done to this point. By week's end, we had seen some nine open heart operations, and a few lighter moments were in order. One was provided by the Institute's Steve Harrison when he presented Leroy with a little artwork of his own. Mm -hmm. I thought you ought to have something that might Circling make you look a little bit more like a medical illustrator. So this is from the Heart Institute to you. With our appreciation. Gotta remember, to this point, I trust you. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. He got to get it. This is something else. It's stuck in here. Oh, no. Good grief. Look at this. This is my new studio smock. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, isn't that something? Look at that. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I always said about myself, the one way I describe myself, aside from my work, is I'm all heart. <laughs> and uh, I, I would just like to say bravo to Ted Dietrich. He does it all. One month later, it was Leroy Neiman's turn to do it all. He had returned to New York to finish the painting. And early in March, with his work completed, we rejoined the surgeon and the artist for the final chapter in the heart yeah, test. But you got to remember, I'm only going to ask you one question. The rest of the picture has to go as it is. So, yeah. in essence, the incision for this is closed. But the thing, is I guess there's some of these tubes that run into the heart from down from the lung, from the okay. pump there that I have to... You know, I thought this morning out. I was shaving it. I thought that's what you're going to ask me about. Yeah? Yep, the tubes. <laughs> yeah. Where are they going? Yeah. The studio here. The corridor of the... Uh, right in here. This is it. How's that? The work of art that Ted Dietrich had waited so long for was finished. And it seemed fitting that his first view of it would come from the same perspective from which it was painted. Okay, I'm ready. The anticipation is getting too great now. Leroy, you can't wait any longer. Fabulous. Oh, look at that, would you? Look at that. I gotta come down and see it. Good. I think it's terrific, huh? I think it's terrific. Well, your reaction looks good. There's so much in there, I just have to almost... It's you got all everything in there. I think the there. instruments really... Uh, instruments, look at the instruments, it's terrific. I got that extra you gave me is hanging up in the corner there. Yeah, I've got it in the window here. Yeah, oh, look at that. Look at how you got that, too, because, you see, that was the patient, Leroy, that had the big aneurysm. We took the yeah. footage of the big aneurysm. Yeah. You can see how the heart bulges out there. You've even done that here. Look at this. This bulges out like it's got the aneurysm. I think this really is the probably the aneurysm case. If you put them all together, probably that was the pinnacle. That was of, the, don't you think that was the pinnacle of yeah. the of the week, probably? Should I fix my signature to it right now? I think so. Don't you? I'd like to have you sign it. That's one a here. performance. We are living in, a, in an era of uh, laying it on the line. You know, where you do something, you you want you have to own up to it. The M is kind of, you know, it's, that looks pretty decent. Then it, the ear has to be in there. So we got it. That's it. Dr. Dietrich, as they say in the auction rooms at Sotheby's in London or New York, sir, the painting is yours. Leroy, thank you very much for a great job. <laughs>